giant Odo moment. I have Triple Cup up front because Triple Cup has Thunderbolt and he starts with his Pidgeot basically for the battle, for the start of the battle. Okay, so yeah, here's Matt, or whoever you named your rival in this case. <laughs> hey Steven, I was looking forward to seeing you, Steven. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Steven, do you know what that means? I'll tell you, I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Okay. Let's try to take you down, so we're the most powerful trainer in the world then. Sounds like a plan to me, I guess. So he's champion Matt, yeah. Okay, he starts with Pidgeot. I think this thing's, yeah, level 59. So, but, you know, Tropicoff's almost two levels higher than almost, though. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. It's gonna go for a Feather Dance. So it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, harshly lower Tropicoff's attack stat by two. Yeah, okay, cool. Pidgeot. Okay, we got the one Thunderbolt on it, so it's, it hit awesome. It did a little bit over half, and it paralyzed. That's pretty good. Um, he might withdraw his Pidgeot here. Okay, he didn't. I was, I'm surprised. I was like, huh. I think he would withdraw his Pidgeot, knowing that I would faint the next turn if, a thunder, if another Thunderbolt hit. Which he did, so it worked in our favor. I guess I didn't switch out. So yeah, the, uh, the Pidgeot goes down, and now Trocoff's level 61. Awesome. Cool. Here's an Alkazam. We're gonna actually keep stay in because Trouble Cuff does Shadow Ball. Now this Alkazam has a lot of special attack, and I think and those Future Sight and Psychic and I guess two other moves I don't want I don't really care about apparently I have to remember. Yeah, but it's level 57 and it's male. Okay, so let's go for the Shadow Ball. It'd be super effective. We go first apparently, which is pretty interesting. I thought the Alkazam would would outspeed um Trouble Cuff. Okay, the special defense fell, falls. Okay, so it didn't do quite half, but it did about a third. Let's get a Psychic on us, okay. Let's go for a Strength, to weaken it down a little bit more. It's gonna go for- okay, that time outspeeded us. Outspread Triple Cuff, I should say. Okay, yeah. If we can just land a Shadow Ball before we can land a Psychic. No! No! Ah, oh, man, this stinks. Critical hit, of course. Okay. Well. Let's go with, um, Airbender, I guess. Okay, let's go for a return. It's gonna psychic again. Crazy special attack stat here. Yeah, I did half. Jeez, I mean, even though Airbender's three levels higher than it, it's still did half. A little bit over half actually. But the Airbender, the, the Airbender, the Alkazam goes down, which is nice. Rhydon's up next. Okay, we'll go to. Let's go to Giant Green for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain on this right on. And it's level 59 male. But if you have a good water or grass type Pokemon or with a grass type move that like one of the Pokemon knows, just use it and it can, it's four times weak to water and grass type moves, so. That's why I used Giga Drain, it's because I know it's a powerful grass type move. Okay, so let's send out Charizard next, okay? We'll go to Starmion then. Okay, it's level 63, so it's two levels. Well, uh, well this tries out two levels higher than Starman. Okay, let's go for the Surf then. There we go. And it almost one hit shot. Okay, cool. Let's get his Fire Boss on us. On Starman, I should say. Yeah. He was burned. Okay, it was burned. Yeah, her brother burn. It's gonna use its citrus berry, which will hopefully take it out of the red's health. Yeah, okay, so let's show you another surf. Okay, of course it's still in this full story. Okay. Let's use another full store, dang it. Fine, we can use a full store too, I guess. Okay, yeah. He's an executor, doesn't he? He's an executor. Okay, fine. Fine, in that case, we can go to Firefox then. Sleep powder, okay. 
I have a polka flute, you do know that, right? So I'm gonna use it, you know? Let's go for the polka flute. There we go, nice. White screen, okay, I need to go back to my bag. Let's go for the overheat. Yeah, I'm playing hardball right now, Matt. <laughs> okay, yeah, it still survives though, dang it. Get sleep powder again. Of course it is. You know I'm gonna use my pucker food again. It's a forest store, okay. Let's use flamethrower, I guess, on it. Dang it, that, see that reflector that, um, see that reflector that white screen that's causing all this heart, heartache, you know? Because egg bomb on us, okay. White screen off. Good. She's another flamethrower on this thing. Yeah, I could have just used. I could have just used overheat, but I didn't. Dang it! How many times do I have to put my Pokemon to sleep, knowing that I'm just gonna wake him back up again next turn? There's another four store, okay. I think that's his last four store that I can actually use. So, yeah. Just, I don't, I don't, let's go for another flamethrower. Stupid executor is so annoying. Okay. How many times does Sweet Powder have to hit? Jeez. See if we can just awaken up, awaken, uh, F Firefox is just awakening. <laughs> there we go, nice. Let's go for the overheat. There we go, nice. Painted the executive final, yay. He's Gyarados. We'll go to Starman for this, I guess. Okay, so the Gyarados level 61, okay. Yeah, good thing Thunderbolt is special, not physical right here. So let's get this Thunderbolt on it. Just because Gyarados is four times weak to water, uh, four times weak to ultra type moves, because it's water and flying type, so. Yeah. And almost when it kills it, dang it. I keep on forgetting to like weaken it down with a weaker move first in case that happens. Dang it. Okay, let's go for um, an ice beam, I guess. Okay, that's gotta be his last four story. Unless he has as many as he wants. Yeah, let's just go with ice beam. Okay, yeah, let's go for nothing bolt then. There we go. Nice. Okay, yeah, and then much Charizard. Yeah, I guess this last Pokemon, cool. It's good for Surf, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna take it out. Nice. And the Charizard fan, it's awesome. Starman Good Level 61, yay. 
No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Thanks for $60, man. Yeah, I guess it's not fair for you. <laughs> really, it's fair because I actually beat you at fair and square in a battle. So you're kind of, you're kind of like just being a sore loser right now. <laughs> Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion, although I hate to admit it. Although I- I, I misread that, probably. Steven. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the Pokemon- you're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. Steven, you have come of age. Matt, I'm dis- I am disappointed in you. I came, I came when I heard you beat in the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Matt, what do you understand why you lost? You never, you have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. Steven, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Steven, come with me. Ahem. Congratulations, Steven. This floor is the Hall of Fame. Pokemon Hall of Fame. The Pokemon League, cha Pokemon League champs are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Steven, you have worked hard to become a new League champion. Congratulations, Steven. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. We put them in the machine, which is like somewhere, somewhere to like a Pokemon Center. Machine for healing up them up. Your Pokemon healing up your Pokemon. So yeah, and the screen fades to black. But there we go, see if we don't turn off the power. Okay. Cool. Travelcuff, new Hall of Famer. My man, new Hall of Famer. Ninetales, new Hall of Famer. Uh, Firefox, I mean, new Hall of Famer. Starman, new Hall of Famer. Airbender, new Hall of Famer. And Giant Green, new Hall of Famer. Okay. Cool, we're all in the Hall of Famer now, yay. And there's us, nice. League champion, congratulations. Uh, it took us 53 hours and 34 minutes to get the, the Hall of Fame, but that's okay. A lot of that was doing the nugget glitch. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And on to the credits. Well, not yet, there's this cutscene right here. Magic goes running off. And then Professor comes out. He looks at us for a second, there we go. And he just, uh, goes off by himself too, trying to catch him out, I guess. Or maybe going back to Pallet Town, I don't know. <laughs> we look we look back at the Pokemon League Elite Four, or the Indigo Plateau, I should say. Yeah. So I've liked this walkthrough guide a lot. It's a redo walkthrough out of course. And it's not over yet. There's still the after game I want to do. Like, there's still we have to catch Mewtwo. Still, we have to catch one of the legendary dogs. Since I chose Bulbasaur as my starter, I'll be going after Entei. And uh, we also have to do um, some more of the Seven Islands stuff too before we can do Mewtwo or do the legendary dog catch with the try and catch Entei. So yeah, I really do like this game. I find it very fun. I'd recommend to anyone who is a Pokemon fan, like, you gotta play this game. I know it's a remake and all, but it's still fun. I still enjoy it. And I hope you guys all enjoy it, too, if you've played it, you know. Or else someone liked it. It's okay if you hate this game. I mean, everyone has their own opinion, really. Yeah, there's Charizard. It's breathing fire out there, yeah. So, yeah. So... If I were to guess, I still have probably more, I think I have like 20 to 25 parts left in this project. Although that could be overkill, that could be a little bit under actually what I have to do. But I don't know. I, I remember the Savai Islands taking quite a bit of time, but like the way I want to do like, I've been trying to do like 20 minute, 25 minute videos or less for this project. I'm pretty sure I've been doing, I've been warming up to at least 25 to 25 minutes of us project parts for this project. There's Venus away. Nice. I like the music for the credits, it's really nice. And I, the after game shouldn't be too hard for me, I mean. I'm pretty, high, I'm pretty still high level, I guess. You could say, so I don't think I'll have any trouble doing the after game. But. I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna have fun with it. And yeah. 
I won't give you guys a hint on my next project now since this project's not over yet. Uh, when My final video I want to do for this project is going to be catching Entei. So I'll, I'll give you guys a hint on my next project then, I guess. Um, honestly, as of right now, I don't know what my next project will be actually right now. So this gives me a little bit more time to think of it. Uh, trying to think more of, of what I want to do for the next project. So yeah, there's Blastoise back there. And now there's um, some of, you know, Matt. <laughs> It's all been, you know, us just running around Kanto, it looks like, in the credits, you know, how he's just doing, running in place, kinda. But yeah, it's like a gif or something, you know? So yeah, I do like this game a lot. It's my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I just like it a lot. And the music's really great in the credits, as I said before. It showed like it just showed you around Kanto basically, which is kind of cool. Like there was Future City, and then here's was Cinnabar Island, and they showed off Celadon, and uh, Shrewling City of course, and Pewter City. They may have showed all the cities with gym badges. I could be wrong though. There's Pikachu, nice. Pikachu looks huge in that in that little picture right there. It looks like, it looks like a that episode of the Pokemon anime where they go to the island of the lost of the giant Pokemon or whatever after they got separated or in a big dragon rage with uh, James's Gyarados. So yeah, there's Pallet Town by the way. So that Pikachu just looked huge. End of story right there. <laughs> okay, and with that we have done that and the end. But it's not that it's not the complete end because it just reboots the game. And you get to up to the tile screen again, and you press your select file. Right after that, Professor Oak will come to you, and if you have 60 Pokemon caught or more, he'll give you the National Dex basically, but I don't have 60 Pokemon or more right now, so I'm going to catch him off screen, get 60 Pokemon at least, at least 60 Pokemon off screen. Uh, at, least have, at least have 60 Pokemon caught uh, off screen, and then, I'll, uh, and then I'll start the after game that way, I guess, because that's when you get the National Dex and get to go to the more of the seven islands and whatnot. So, ah, Steven, you're back, are you? How much have you filled in your Pokedex? May I see it? Let's see. You've got 34. Hmm, it looks like you're putting an honest effort. Well, when you manage to fill this some more, come come see me, please. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just do that. And, yeah. Let me organize my Pokemon. Let's put, like, um... Strongest, uh, yeah, okay, so half my Pokemon's level 60, half my Pokemon's level 61, or all right, level 61 and 60, okay. So, I'm gonna go off and catch some Pokemon, I'm gonna catch, like, let's see, I have 34, so 26, okay, so I'm gonna catch, like, 26 more Pokemon off screen. But I'm gonna, but we're gonna start the after game in the next part, actually.